What's up you guys, Ethan's Mystical Child here, coming to you with a pick a card. Hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully this reading could be useful to you, and you could get some insight. Shout out to my subscribers, no always popping with you. Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Today's video, the title is going to be Who's Losing Sleep Behind You. So, I don't know what's going to come out. Take what apply and leave the rest. We have three pals here. Pal one, pal two, pal three. The jade, can you see? It's not. It's weird. The jade, if you can see it, look like it's being overshadowed. Let's see something. That looks so weird. But I'm sure you can see it right here. The Jade Crystal, if you need a crystal, will be for Pile 1. For Pile 2, I will use the Amethyst. And then for Pile 3, I will use the Red Jasper. So, pick your Pile on your Piles, and I'll meet you in Pile 1. Pile 1, if you pick this deck or if you pick this jade, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope this reading is useful for you. If you are subscriber new and old, what's popping with you? Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. The title is Who's Losing Sleep Over You? Don't know what's going to come out. Take what apply and leave the rest. So yeah, we're going to jump right into the reading. So, I'm going to give you some descriptions of the person. Could be describing you and or them or both of you guys. So, let's see who is losing sleep over me. Who is losing sleep over Pile 1? This deck just started acting funny real quick. Somebody likes to use their middle name. This person have a unique smile. They could have gaps in their teeth. They could wear braces. They could have missing teeth. If it's a female, she could wear red lipstick. Some of them have black stains on their teeth. This person have more vowels than consonants in their last name, if in fact you know their last name. So they have more A, E, I, O, U's in their last name. So this card could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This person comes across like kind of like emotionally immature. They could be a person that's moody. If they're not moody, they could be like happy-go-lucky. This person could be a creative person. They could be able to do a lot of things with their hands. It says you already know who they are. This person goes by their nickname. So maybe their middle name is their nickname or they just go by a nickname as well as others going through their middle name. Somebody here is a vegetarian. One second. Whoa. Sorry for that. Hold on. So, let's see. Gatekeepers. Who's this vegetarian? This person could be a cancer. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio is here. So they could definitely be a skeptic. Uh, did I? They could be a cancer. I was going to say shout out to the Capricorns because it's you guys' season. So, happy birthday to you guys. Who is this budget? I can't even get it out. So, your ex is losing sleep behind you. I'll get one more. Who is this vegetarian or this person with this unique smile? There's a lot of cards that just flipped out of nowhere. It says somebody watching from the sideline. Somebody's niece. Could be your sister. And it says cross watcher. When it says cross watcher, in the future, if you see me look at cards and I don't say it to you, it's not pertaining to the reading. So, um, yeah, you guys, this could be your sister, your niece, your ex, somebody watching from the sideline, a Pisces or a Cancer. So we're going to figure out why this person is losing sleep over you. Uh, let me see something. Make them dash their way. 
Gatekeepers, why is this Cancer Who's Asleep Over Power 1? This person, somebody here misunderstood you or didn't take the time to understand you or purposely misunderstood you so they can go against you. Somebody's having a perspective here, a new perspective. Somebody's like clearing their head. So somebody here could be having like epiphanies or just um, clarity. You know how you get clarity from a situation after you think about it? Somebody here is also going through an emotional storm. They're going through some emotional upheaval or some turmoil. Them not being around you is affecting them. Some of them feel like they better off being around you. On the bottom of the deck, you have chemistry. Top of the deck, you have escaping. And then the middle of the deck, you have lusting. So this person is going through an emotional storm because they're lusting after you. For some of you guys, you are forbidding to this person. This person, for some reason, is like forbidding. Some of these people are non-committal as well. That's why they're going through emotional storms. Something happened here where there was a misunderstanding and now you guys are blocking this person or you walked away from this person. Or you pushing them away or this person potentially pushed you away. But there is attraction here. This person have like passion for you. So this definitely will be your ex. This ex of yours have passion for you. Let's see. What is the current situation here? Why did Pal One stop speaking to this person? What is this? The Tower Moment. It was a Tower Moment and Knight of Cups. Something to do with a love offer. Something to do if it's not a love offer because it's more than just your ex here. If it wasn't a law, all right, I'll stay with the love offer. Then I'll move forward because I don't want to be scattered about. With this Knight of Cups and this Tower, somebody had a realization here that this person, love offer, wasn't like, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of smoke screen with this love offer. When a tower hits, it's normally the universe is causing the tower to hit. So, I'm going to get more clarity on this nine of cups, this knight of cups. The knight of cups is similar to the page of cups. It's just like, say for instance, a page of cups is 10 years old. A knight of cups would be like 15 years old. So this person is emotionally immature, however you put it, because it's clarifying the X that I'm talking about now. So with the tower moment here, the tower moment, this person could be a Scorpio, they could be an Aries, they could be a Libra, or they could be a Taurus. But there was some revelation, some type of upheaval, some type of, um, what would I say, destructive moment. Somebody had the rug pulled from underneath them with this situation. What is this Knight of Cups here for? If this is your niece or like, um, what does it say, your niece... Your sister, somebody um, was being fake with you emotionally. They was acting like they was bringing love to you, but they wasn't bringing love to you. This person really didn't like you. Clarify this um, Knight of Cups for Power One. What's going on with this Knight of Cups and this Tower? Some of them is also losing sleep as well. That I'm looking at it. They lose their sleep because they know that it will be a tower moment if they try to come close to you. There's going to be a tower moment if they try to bring you a love offer, if they try to bring you an apology, anything they try to bring, there's going to be an upheaval. But it seems like the um, tower already fell here. And when this tower fell, there's a... Um, a fire sign. I already said the energy that could be here. It's funny I said that and I didn't even pre this. But there's a fire sign who was injured in this upheaval. Whatever upheaval was, it was a fire sign that was really affected. The earth sign wasn't really affected. Or maybe a person, 
well, okay, let's just say it like this. Out of the earth signs and the fire sign, the, fi the fire sign was the one that's really getting the brunt of this tower. So it was the fire sign who had the rug pulled from underneath them. It was a fire sign who had this like, like eruption and this like unwanted change, I'm trying to say. It was the uh, earth sign that was kind of saved in this situation. Or the water sign. Flip side of a water sign is the earth sign. Somebody here don't want to be bothered. Somebody's walking away from love. Love or for whether it's your ex or the family. Somebody doesn't want to be bothered emotionally. They're walking away. They don't have time for it. They're throwing up their hands. And this seems like this was what happened here. It seems like this fire sign, whoever is representing this fire sign, they didn't want to be bothered. They didn't want to understand you. They thought they was better off somewhere else. They was looking for attraction and chemistry somewhere else. This person threw up their hand and gave up on you. This is why when the towel fell, it's the one that is the one really getting the brunt of this energy. This is the one that's emotionally upset in this relationship. It's this fire sign. Whoever It could even be somebody that have a large percentage of fire in their chart. But it's a fire sign that's being affected. Yeah. Clarify this lusting. And who's... Somebody here could be a Leo. Somebody needs to kind of heal their sexual energy that they have with this tower, the sun, and this lusting. Somebody needs to mature when it comes to their sexual energy. They, It's like your root chakra is overactive. This is somebody that's like hypersexual. Somebody that wants to have sex all the time. Somebody here could be a twin as well. Clarify this escaping. And who's losing sleep over power? Clarify this escaping. Yeah, somebody was being used as like a poppy show. Somebody here was being like, basically, somebody here was playing in this person's face. Playing in you guys' face. I'm saying a person like I'm not talking to you guys. Somebody here was playing in your face. Somebody was playing in your face in a community. It was like this person was putting on a show for other people to see. That's what this um, Six of Cups is indicative of in this deck. But the Six of Cups is also indicative of somebody here that is reminiscing. Somebody here that is could have had a past life relationship with you. It's a soulmate card. But yeah, this person tried to clown you in front of people. Clarify this. Somebody tried to put somebody under some type of illusion. Keep somebody blocked. Keep somebody fighting. Keep somebody just like on a on this confusion. It's a lot of confusion in this these two cards. With the nine of wands, I mean, not this is not even the nine of wands. This is the seven of wands. Yeah, there was a lot of um, a lot of hostility here, a lot of ego, a lot of a lot of competition, a lot of one upping people for no reason, and this was being done in a public setting, or for other people to see. Clarify the sun. This is what the sun is here, like this is being exposed. The energy is off in this reading. Clarify this um the sun and this emotional storm. What's the turmoil here? Why is this person under turmoil? Because the Empress. You are Empress. They let go of Empress. They screwed over an Empress. A Libra or Taurus. A Empress is all. Queens and one. The Empress is somebody that's abundant, somebody that's nurturing, somebody that's loving, somebody that's grounded. It's a divine masculine or feminine, depending on what energy you are in. If you want to look at this as an emperor, it's a divine masculine. Empress, divine feminine. We know energies go both ways. Somebody tried to play somebody that's better than sliced bread. Like, no wonder why they lose sleep over you. It's pretty interesting. 
You're a person that's very sensual as well. The Empress is sensual. She's the divine feminine. No wonder why they lost them behind you. you like a goddess. You looking like this person at this person like they better not come towards you. And this is why with this page of cups and this tower, they know it's going to be a tower. Look at the emperor's face. You guys don't want to be bothered with this person. Hold on for a second. The energy is really off in this reading. It's like I want to like use other oracles and stuff, but it's like the energy is like so flat. Why is this person leaving? Um, leaving. Listen, I don't know. What the hell we even had to do? Yeah, somebody must have. Yeah, well, I'm looking at the Eight of Cups. This is about walking away. But somebody also could have ghosted somebody. What's the person's? No, this is what I really want to do. Well, okay, let me do it this way. Because it's like, ugh, this energy is kind of like. Why is, why is this sister losing sleep over power one? I refuse to change because I'm afraid of the unknown. So I stay stuck in my, com my comfort zone. So this sister is a sister that wasn't a sister to you. You never had a relationship with your sister. Or if some of you had a relationship with your sister at some point, it just it just went awry. You guys just like kind of grew apart because this person is scared to change. They don't want to change. They stuck in a lack mentality. Why is this niece losing sleep over power one? If you ghost me, please remain dead because that's what ghosts do. I'm not chasing an immature person. So your niece stopped speaking to you. Your niece was immature and stopped speaking to you. Emotionally immature too because that's why these pages of cups is coming out. It says, my mother made me codependent on relationships. So this person wants people to fawn after them. It's either their mother praised them or their mother neglected them. The mother could have neglected them. And then praise them at certain times. But this person is another codependent person. It seems like your family have a problem with like um, codependent issues. Like they like comics. These could be comic um, family members to you. But it's like your family. Take what apply and leave the rest. I'm not trying to bomb nobody's family. But it seems like your family is a type of family that lives for image. The perfect cause, the perfect family, the perfect everything perfect on the in, um, outside, but on the inside is nothing but chaos going on. I don't know how to express my feelings. That's why I'm so aggressive. So your niece is very hostile. I don't put my energy into this, but I could resonate with this. Not to say my family is on image or none of that, but my niece particularly, this niece energy... My niece is like, I basically kind of raised my niece because this is like the only niece I have. Side note to you guys, a little personal insight on my life. Um, yeah, but she just started smelling herself and then she just, you know, when you smell yourself, you just do this type of crazy. And she definitely don't know how to express herself emotionally. She's a Taurus, so you know she's bullheaded and aggressive and a bit much when she wants to be. But yeah, so it seems like this is what was going on here with you guys. So they lose the sleep over you now. They want you to come back. We 19 minutes in. I gotta go to Pal too. If you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Till next time. Pal two, if you pick this deck or this stone, the amethyst, then this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully you could get some clarity on who's losing sleep over you guys because that's the title shout out to you guys to my subscribers new and old if you are a visitor shout out to you returning visitors welcome back so we're gonna figure out who is this person losing sleep behind you called you the other night this person wear multiple rings on their fingers two or more rings on their fingers First name begins with an A-E-I-O-U. Communicating their feelings come easy for them. 
this could be you, it could be them, or it could be both of you guys. Your path will cross during the next air season, which will be um, this month, Aquarius. Shout out to the Capricorns. It's your season. This person like to collect things. So let's see. Who's this person for power two? That's losing sleep behind them. Cancer that came out in power one. Shout out to you guys, your ex. How are these cards is coming right back out, and I shuffled them and look at all these cards. These cards came out in power one, all of them except this one. It says they smile in your face the whole time. They want to take your place. So this person, you were sleeping with your enemy, because your ex is here. Your ex is a cancer. Let's see if I could get another card, but let's just see. Who's this person for pal two? This person don't believe in God, and it could be your father. This is, or well, this person could be a father, or your child's father. Okay, this is interesting. So let's see. Why is this person losing sleep over power two? Why is this person losing sleep over power two? This person is a spiritual hater. It wanted to come out, and I'm going to show you. This person, if you're spiritual, they don't like you because you're spiritual. They hate on your light. Hates on your spirituality, your light, your power, your magic. So this person really didn't like you. They was with you and didn't like you. <laughs> oh, gosh. It says child services. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to report in something, neglect or abuse. Wow. This card, the first card is ego. And I was explaining this, I think, in power one. I think I brought this up. Yeah, I did explain this in power one. This person have a hurt ego. Their ego is getting in the way of their relationship. So you must have bruised this person. You probably um, trampled on this person's ego. Not even probably, you did. You probably killed their ego. But I don't know. Somebody, I don't... Tra child services, somebody here neglecting their children. Why is this person cock blocking and they are forcer? So this person probably telling, I don't know. I don't want to tap into that child energy, somebody neglecting their children. But some of them with their ego, they probably saying that you're neglecting your child so your child could get taken away from you. They trying to cock block you from a new relationship. This person likes to force things on you. They force their way. They use force to get what they want. So this is just an immature bully. They just bully themselves around like it's a bully. Why is this person losing sleep? They they losing sleep because they they dodge. It says you dodge the bullet, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected. And this person is protected by haters. So whoever there's people around this person who don't like you and they protect their bullshit that they do. They co-sign the bullshit they do, but you block a negativity, and this is why they lose the sleep, because for some of you, they're not around you. They can't be around you. They're not around you. Some of you guys probably have, like, some type of um, order protection against this person. Why is this person losing sleep for power? It says open heart, receptive, empathy, vulnerable, because you're a person that's very loving. You're a person that's like um, an empath. Some of you could be an empath. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They want to play on your heart. They know you have an open heart. They want to play on your emotions. This person is very deceptive and elusive. And it came on his child services card. They use trickery with children. They use children to get their way. They probably use the children to say they want to see their children just to see you. Or if you need the, the child to be taken care of, they got to get, they got to go through you. I, I'm glad I don't have children for this reason. This is crazy. Yeah. 
This person is a very deceptive person, though. They build a lot of, like, webs. They weave a lot of webs. And then they get stuck in their own web. Oh, one last card. No, actually, I'm good on these cards. I don't need another card. Clarify this ego. Why are they, um, lose to sleep over pal, too? If you don't have a children by this um, person, they probably want to get you pregnant to keep you trapped. It says two of wands because you have the world in your hands. You are manifesting right now. Some of you guys could be like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have it prominent in your chart. You have the world in your hands. You are manifesting. This person knows this. This person want to keep you stuck, though. Clarify. And it's crossing this elusive. And this is what I wanted to say. Clarify this elusive. The nine of wands. This person wants you to fight them. You're like a wounded warrior with this person. Constantly fighting. Constantly have to guard yourself from this person. Always on defense because they're always doing some crazy. Because they're very aggressive. Some of them know how to box or took boxing classes. Clarify this child services. Why is this person losing sleep? The Eight of Swords in reverse because you came out of your head. You must have known this person was using your child as a pawn with the Eight of Swords in reverse. They can't keep you trapped in your head. You came out of your head about this. Somebody's losing sleep. This person's losing sleep for sure. I'm like somebody. This person is the name of the reading. This is a Nine of um, um, Swords. This person is losing sleep for real behind this. Clarify this cock blocking. Five of Cups. They feel left out. They wanted you to feel left out. Some of them probably stood you up on dates. They wanted you to feel less than. Hangman energy. This person could be a Pisces as well. Clarify they smile in your face the whole time they want to take your pelis. Three of Cups. This is why they try to treat you less than. This person didn't like you. You're a very social pe person. People like you. You have people that don't mind being around you because you're a happy person. This is a miserable person. They want to bring their little stupid pinnacle, their immature pinnacle. Clarify this three of cups and they smile in your face all along they want. Yeah, clarification. You're the nine of pinnacles. Nine of pinnacles is an empress junior, the best thing since sliced bread. The only thing some of you guys don't have is a relationship, but you have all the stability, the money, the career. You have everything. And they're trying to block you from getting a, a, a relationship if you don't have a relationship. If you have gotten something from this, like, and subscribe, going off the Power 3. Till next time in Tower Lane. Power 3, if you pick this red Jasper or this duck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Subscriber was popping. Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. The title is Who's Losing Sleep Over You? Take what apply, leave the rest. And yeah, I'm going to give you some descriptions of the person could be describing you or them or both of you guys. This person goes by a nickname. This came out in power one and two. This person could be a fire sign. And they want to send you a message. This person is in the community. This could be your nephew. This cancer came out in every pile. These two cards don't pertain to you. So... Your nephew could be pal two had the ex and the niece. Pal one had the ex, the niece, the sister. So yeah. So let's see. Why are they losing sleep over you? Why is this fire sign losing wet or oh no? <laughs> Why is this nephew losing? You said this person is conflicted. You, you and this person come across like oil and water, some of you. This person's spying on you. They spying on your, um, your um, social media to get information from you guys. Seems like this person kind of like imitates you or kind of like they trying to stalk you to get some type of information out of you. It says you avoiding this person, your nephew. You balancing yourself and you avoiding this person. You pushing them away. Let's see. Why is this nephew losing sleep over pal three? It 
it says because you're a queen rises. So you stepping in your power. You being praised. You coming up. You probably no longer taking any crap from your nephew because it seems like why would they be losing sleep while you're not talking? It says you're a queen rising. So there's some hate going on some way, somehow. It said this person is a thief. They want to rob you physically or emotionally. So this is an emotional vampire. With this thief card, some of them carry, walk around with poles. They up their pole or they try to, you know, have a, you know, pew pew. I don't want to say it because of YouTube. Why this person is losing sleep over pal? They want to give you an offer. They want to come bring you like a, a offer so y'all could go out to eat, go to the movies. Some type of peace offering this person is trying to bring you, it seems like. So now let's go to the, why is this fire sign losing sleep over pal three? In case the fire sign is not the nephew. This person is haunted. It could be the nephew. This person is haunted. They have um, flashbacks and memories from you. They're being haunted how they treated you. There was some betrayal somewhere, somehow. It seems like it. Why is this person haunted? For pal three. They haunted because you got the two of swords, the nine of pentacles, and a hermit. This person, this hermit in this deck is a hermit with no compassion. This is a Virgo. Or it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And it's a Pisces, Cancer here. The flip side of an earth sign is a water sign. This person that has no compassion, this person is distru distrustful. This person um, is a person that has no life. They hate their life. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have everything. You're very abundant. You don't want for nothing. You're very stable. You're very reliable. And this person is in their head about this, the Two of Swords. They're in their head about this. Some of them betrayed you already, and they um haunted behind it. This is why, because they this type of person. Clarify this offer. This is not a person that does introspection. And if they are fire sign, they don't do no introspection. It's a moon. The moon came out. There's a bunch of hidden illusions about around this person and this offer. This person is deceptive. They want to come around and do something dangerous to you guys. This is a person that prey on people. You see the two um, hyenas. This is a person that prey on people. We already said they're an energy vampire. Why this person stalking and losing sleep? Look, all these hyenas. Like they want to use you for prey. They want to use you for something. Something they need you for and want to use you for. Clarify this conflict. You have the king of swords. No. Yeah, the king of swords and then the lovers. This person made bad choices. And this is a Gemini card. Like and subscribe. Till next